morning my dear students today i am discussing about the transistor transistor nothing but it is a three terminal semiconductor device that transfers the signal from low resistance to high resistance region enter transistor can also be defined as if two pn junction diodes connected back to back with either p type or n type it is also known as transistors transistors are of two types npn another one is pnp what is meant by n transistor means n means nothing but n when pentavalent element is added to a pure semiconductor then it is known as n type whereas p means when trivalent element is added to a pure semiconductor then it is known as p type okay again in in, in transistor we are manually having uh, three terminals nothing but e means emitter b means base whereas c means collector emitter means nothing but it is used to emits or supply the charge carriers towards the base junction it is uh, heavily doped than that of base or collector whereas uh, base it is a thin section nothing but uh, narrow it is used to indicate in between emitter and uh, collector it is uh, it is lightly doped another one is collector it is used to simply collects the charge carriers which are coming from interbase junction it is uh, moderately doped next you move, move on to npn what is meant by npn means it consists of two n type materials separated by a thin section of p type then it is known as npn transistor npn means majority charge carriers are electrons minority charge carriers are holes okay we are discussing about npn transistor now uh, simple uh, block has been drawn we are applying a supply voltages first one is vee emitter base junction next one is vbb nothing but uh, vcc nothing but collector base junction okay in npn means it having same charge automatically it moves on the charge carriers towards the base junction again base junction is uh, base junction charge carriers as moves the collector and collector is having a supply known as vcc ve means emitter power supply to drive the entire junction is forward bias vcc means collector power supply to drive the entire junction in reverse bias But while moving the charge carriers it is used to construct a current in this enter current known as ie whereas another one is base current known as ib collector current is known as ic this is also known as transistor equation transistor equation means nothing but uh, sum of base current as well as current current okay in this transistor can also be treated as a two port network whereas two port network means we are having four terminals v1 i1 another one is v2 i2 v1 y1 in input terminals v2 y2 or output terminals again two port network um, in order to compensate we are having three configurations that is nothing but uh, common base common emitter common collector first we have to discuss about common base nothing but by seeing that base terminal is common to both emitter and collector then it is known as uh, common base configuration it can be also be known as grounded base configuration also okay now you take a base nothing but it is separated by two terminals emitter another one is collector okay while um, base terminal is common means so that uh, current will not be exist in that so that we are having a current known as ie whereas another voltage is vbe in output means we are having ic and uh, collector voltage is vc okay these are input junction these are output junction input terminals are ie emitter current base emitter voltage ic collector current vc collector emitter voltage okay we are simply drawing a circuit um, that is uh, base terminal is common to both the emitter and collector in this base terminal is grounded okay now i am taking as a in between uh, 
two junctions first one is emitter another one is collector in this we are having in the if these two voltages are can be written as vb this emitter voltage another one is we are restricted in a current known as uh, measuring a current known as ie in order to limit uh, ie we are uh, supporting with a resistor known as uh, re again by you by adjusting the voltage we are using a pot meter now i am giving a supply known as uh, ve emitter power supply next another one is the both terminals are common bc so that we are having a base emitter voltage base collector voltage vb base emitter voltage again we are measuring a current known as uh, ie uh, so that uh, it is known as uh, ic we are limiting a current known as uh, rc another we are having a pot meter known as p2 another is uh, having a supply voltage known as vcc this is a basic building block uh, for an uh, common base configuration that is base terminal is uh, grounded this uh, again it is divided into two parts these are input characteristics these are output characteristics in order to mind the characteristics we are having a graphs nothing but uh, uh, fixing uh, voltage uh, vb i mean uh, you are measuring input characteristics means, means nothing but uh, uh, measuring uh, vb base emitter voltage another one is uh, current means uh, i okay um, we are simply having a graph known as like this we can obtain vcb is equal to zero vcb is equal to one volt by seeing the graph we can uh, simply say from zero to a it does not obey its law ohms law whereas a to b it obtained as a linear so that it obeys uh, ohms law we are thinking uh, simply seeing the graph we can uh, uh, draw we can uh, <coughs> tell your own words by taking voltage along x axis and current along y axis we have obtained a graph from 0 to a it, uh, it uh, does not obey ohms law from a to b it obeys uh, ohms law this is our input characteristics uh, by varying a vcb uh, or vcb is equal to one one step we are uh, having uh, we are uh, obtaining this graph okay um, v is the emitter power supply where vcc is the collector power supply again we are drawing for uh, output characteristics nothing but uh, another one is uh, vbc along y axis uh, and ic along uh, um we see a vbc along x axis and ic along y axis we are having a graph known as we can obtain a graph like this we are having a, again this graph is divided into three parts cut off region active region saturation region it is left of the vertical side so the input junction is uh, forward bias it is uh, reactive region it is used to indicate at the top it is, it is uh, nothing but input junction is uh, forward bias whereas output junction is uh, reverse bias whereas in color uh, in cut off region both transistors are said to be off state so that uh, entire uh, input or output uh, behaves as a reverse bias okay in this uh, transistor at region transistor are said to be an amplifier okay again in common base we are measuring uh, current amplification factor that is denoted by alpha nothing but it is ratio of output current by input current output current means ic or input current means i nothing but current amplification factor alpha is equal to ic by ib okay again we can de derive our collector current how, how much of current uh, passing from the emitter base junction are collected by collector terminal that is nothing but uh, alpha e plus uh, icbo nothing but uh, ic means collector current ie means emitter current icbo means collector base with the uh, emitter open okay sum of the current uh, a part of the emitter current which reaches the collector terminal and uh, including base so that at the uh, collector terminal we are collecting the total current which are coming from the emitter base junction okay this is the input output characteristics of uh, common base configuration same by seeing the common base configuration is simply write the uh, common emitter configuration also while uh, simply substituting the values nothing but uh, base terminal is common to both uh, emitter and uh, collector whereas uh, uh, it is known as common base configuration so that i am uh, writing as a common emitter configuration by simply uh, saying that the common emitter nothing but emitter is terminal is common to both uh, base and collector again we are having uh, junctions known as uh, voltage known as vbe base emitter voltage another one is uh, base current uh, ib another one is uh, collector current means v, uh, vce another one is uh, collector current is ic okay again two parts 
VBE, IBE are input by input, whereas VC and IC are output. This is the common base, it is a common emitter, it is also known as a ground emitter configuration. So, there the current will be zero in emitter. In this, the current amplification factor can be beta. Beta means it is the ratio of output current by input current. Output means IC, input means IB. Nothing but beta is equal to IC by IB. Okay. Again, we can reduce, we can read on our circuit uh, common emitter configuration by using the below terminals very easily. No need to buy hard. Uh, emitter terminal is uh, common uh, grounded. Okay. Another one is uh, collector terminal. Another one is uh, base terminal. Okay. We are having in between base and emitter, we are measuring voltage known as uh, again VBE. Okay. Another one is we are measuring uh, corresponding current nothing but uh, IB. It is supported by again resistor RB. Again you are having a port meter P1 and it is uh, when we are having a giving a supply voltage nothing but uh, VBE base emitter volt base voltage. Again in between VCE we are measuring corresponding current VCE and it is used to limit by current uh, IC and uh, it is having a port resistor supply. Uh, in order to resist the current IC, RC we are using, again we are using port meter P2 and it is also given to supply voltage VCC. Nothing but base voltage in order to drive the entire input junction in forward bias, VCC collector power supply to drive the entire output junction in reverse bias. Again we are having a similar graph so we can obtain a similar graph. We simply, uh, nothing but uh, we are keeping the voltage as VBE whereas simply changing the current known as uh, IB. Okay, again uh, in this also we are uh, simply, well, uh, I mean we are uh, taking the VBC along, uh, I mean in between VCE uh, as well as uh, output current means IC, whereas uh, IB is the variation, nothing but we can uh, change the milliampere current into uh, micro. Okay, this is the same similarly we can obtain a graphs like this, input characteristics, output characteristics. Okay, this um, current amplification factor beta is equal to IC by IB. Okay, it can be also written as delta IC by delta IB, nothing but it is a ratio of change in collector current to the change in base current. These are simply common emitter configuration, ground emitter configuration. Okay, again I am... Uh, Using the above circuit only, I am redrawing the circuit nothing but common collector, nothing but collector terminal is common to base and uh, emitter. Again, we are having a collector base nothing but uh, VBC, along nothing but uh, IB, whereas uh, current means uh, uh, output current means collector current means IE, again uh, VC. Okay, again we are ha ha having an amplification factor uh, gamma nothing but uh, IE by IB. Okay, similarly we can obtain the input output characteristics like this. Okay, we are measure, we are, I'm, I covered about the transistor only. Next, uh, again what is meant by two port network I have to uh, cover uh, this also. By using hybrid parameters we can derive the equation. Simply, nothing but uh, we are having two port terminals, uh, we are having an equation known as V11 is equal to H11 I1 plus H12 V2, another one is I1 is equal to H11 I1 plus H22 V2. This is the hybrid equation, complete hybrid model uh, equation. Okay, I am uh, simply uh, for H11, nothing but and nothing but HI. How we can get a HI? Nothing but V1 is equal to H11 I1 by V2 is setting V2 is equal to 0. H11 is equal to V1 by I1. Nothing but it is used to indicate it with a V1 by I1 means nothing but resistor R is equal to V by I. Nothing but it is indicated with a ohm. Nothing but it is a nothing but and nothing but it is represented as HI. Whereas HI is suffix with E emitter, HI suffix with B base where HA suffix with C collector. Okay, this is the input. Same, uh, we can uh, count the value as V1 is equal to H12 V2 while substituting uh, I1 is equal to 0. Again, H12 is equal to V1 by V2. Nothing but, uh, it is nothing but voltage source. Nothing but it is indicated as, uh, um, I mean, uh, HR, reverse voltage. Nothing but, uh, HR, another one is, uh, uh, I mean, uh, 
హెచ్ వన్ వన్ హెచ్ టూ వన్ మీన్స్ హెచ్ టూ వన్ కదా ఈవెన్ అగైన్ ఐ ఎమ్ యూజింగ్ ఐ టూ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు హెచ్ టూ వన్ ఐ వన్ ఐ ఆమ్ సింప్లీ సంప్లీట్ ఈ టూ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ జీరో ఫర్ దట్ హెచ్ టూ వన్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు ఐ టూ బై ఐ వన్ నథింగ్ బట్ ఇట్ యాడ్స్ ఎస్ ఏ కరెంట్ సోర్స్ ఓకే అగైన్ లాస్ట్ పారామీటర్ నథింగ్ బట్ ఐ టీ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు హెచ్ టూ టూ వీ టూ నథింగ్ బట్ అగైన్ వీ కెన్ రైట్ యాజ్ హెచ్ టూ టూ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు ఐ టూ బై వీ టూ నథింగ్ బట్ రివర్స్ ఆఫ్ వోల్టేజ్ నథింగ్ బట్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఇండికేట్ యాజ్ హెచ్ ఓ బై సబ్స్టిట్యూటింగ్ ఫోర్ పారామీటర్స్ ఐ కెన్ రీడ్ ఆన్ అవర్ హైబ్రిడ్ ఈక్వలెన్ సర్క్యూట్ హౌ ఇట్ కెన్ బి రీడ్ ఆన్ ఐ కెన్ షో ఫస్ట్ ఫర్ హెచ్ వన్ వన్ వీఆర్ ఇండికేటింగ్ యాజ్ హెచ్ఐ whereas uh, h12 we are indicating as uh, i mean uh, hr uh, whereas h21 we are indicating as uh, hf whereas uh, h22 we are indicating as uh, ho ha means input impedance reverse voltage forward voltage another one is output these are the basic uh, four values okay by simply substituting hi Uh, we have, at the base we are indicating as a e means it name as emitter indicating as a b means base indicating as c means collector okay again i am redrawing the circuit as hie voltage source hre this is the input whereas output hfe whereas output in terms of reverse resistance is hoe this is the complete hybrid equivalent model for an uh, transistor